Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. I'm happy to have y'all back for another haul video. Now I got some new stuff and I got some dollar books. So I have to say I'm very happy with what I got. Now I got, uh, let's see, this much of new stuff right here in this book of course. So not much new stuff, but I told you I'm, on, I'm trying to keep on that budget of less than 25 on new and spend more 25 on dollar books so as you can see i got a great stack of dollar books compared to new stuff now i bought 38 dollars worth of dollar books so it's i'm happy i'm very happy you guys with what i got but i'm gonna show you the new stuff first now of course this is the venom battle lines variant um issue number 14 it's such an awesome carnage cover, so I had to get two of them, of course. All right, so I wanted to get more, but I'm sticking to my budget, and I'm being patient. Hopefully, I get another one of these in the dollar bin. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows in the future? Maybe, maybe not. But at least I know I got two of them, and I'm happy with that, you guys. Now, before we continue with this haul, I also want to say thank you to everyone for getting me over 1,800 subscribers. Oh my God, I finally got over that. I'm heading for 10,000. Help me get there. Spread the word. Uh, share the love. So thank you, everyone. And I also want to say thank you to all the people that don't skip the skippable ads. If you're new to my channel, I ask you not to skip the ads because if you skip the ad, I don't get the ad revenue. And since I'm a small channel, every ad counts to the revenue. So definitely help. thank you for everyone that does it. Uh, so yeah, I just want to say thank you everyone. You guys are amazing. You got me motivated to make videos, so I'm going to keep making videos for you guys. I have to say, um, I had to get the regular cover of Venom number 14. So basically, out of all the new books, three of them are the same book. Venom <laughs> number 14, but I just had to get the regular cover too, because that regular cover is sick. They did have the Retail Summit. Uh, variant for fifteen dollars of this one that's black and white where it says retail summit but I was like nah I'll be I right. I'm good uh, so then I got the Marvel Comics presents number five and I had to get this because of this author Adams cover oh man author Adams kills it every time I love Nightcrawler Wolverine and Venom in this cover so yeah I'm very happy author Adams had to support this book definitely definitely very happy about that. So that's it for the new books. I know I told you guys I wasn't really impressed with too much stuff uh, from the last video. I told you I already seen what was coming out Wednesday and I wasn't really impressed. I will say the Batman Detective Mel Brooks variant. I was this close to getting it because it looked great. And I was just like, oh man, I should get it. But I was like, you know what? I'll find it later. I know I will. I, I have confidence I will find that book later. But it was a, it's a sweet cover. I will say that. All right. Now, I also was looking for the Faithless um, second print of issue number one, the bag uh, explicit one. They said it's supposed to be even more explicit than the first bag one. So, But they didn't have it. Eh, they didn't even know that it came out. I was like, oh, God. But eh, it is what it is. Now, I have to say... When I went downstairs for these dollar books, they had just put them down there. I was the first one to go through these boxes, but then I got joined by some other people that were going through the boxes. And I happily was joined by a female comic book collector. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to get her name. That's the only thing. I don't know why I didn't ask her name. But I, I told her about my channel. Hopefully she's looking at this video. And if you are, welcome to my channel and I'm happy to have you watching my channel and I have to say it was a joy to meet you and I have to say that it, it was just great to see a fellow woman comic book collector that's into the comic books and, and into reading books uh, because you, you just don't see it that often so when you see it you know it's just amazing and I had to definitely you know let her know that it was great you know to, to see that you know and I wanted to know why what made her start collecting and it was great. She told me, and I was like, man, that's awesome. So definitely can't wait to see you again, you know, hunting for comics. And uh, it was just great to meet you. So um, 
on with the haul, you guys. <laughs> so the first book I got was Young Avengers number one. Now this is volume two, not the volume one. That's the key with all the first appearances, but I had plenty of those. Uh, I picked plenty of copies of those for a dollar throughout the years, so I'm good on volume one. But I never had volume two, issue number one, and I was like, it's a dollar, might as well get it. Now they had about four copies of them, but I just grabbed one because I know volume two doesn't go for anything, so ain't no point in me getting multiples. Now I got Young Justice number nine. Now the reason why I got this one is because there is a first appearance. I forgot who it is, I'm sorry, uh, but it's a character that's supposed to be supposed to be in one of the TV series that's coming out or it's already in development or whatever. So this book is going to jump pretty soon. So definitely if you see this book, be on the lookout for it and get it. Now I've already got some multiple copies of this book, so happy to just add another one to the collection. So very happy about that. Now this book right here just recently heated up. Now, if you saw my greatest haul ever video that I, I did, like, almost two years ago or a year and a half ago, um, that haul right there was an amazing, I mean, I just, and this book was in that haul, and in fact, in the video, I think I have it as my, as the, you know, you if you go to that video, you'll see it on there, like, you'll just automatically see it, that it's there, uh, but this I had talked about this book in that video, how this book is underrated, is undervalued. George Perez kills it. He did the inside art. It's just great. You know what I'm saying? So very happy to find another copy of War of the Gods number one. Now, the important thing about this book is that if you find it, you have to make sure that it has the pinups in there. So, of course... All I did was I looked, you know, at the top of it and I could see that there was color where the rest of the pages were white. So that's how I could tell the pinups were in there. But let me show you what the pinups look like real quick. All right. So this is the first pinup right here, which is Robin. All right. The second pinup is right here. Wonder Woman. And then you got the stroke. And last but not least, you have, who's that? I forgot who that is. But, yeah, that's Circle. I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. But make sure that that's in there. Because if it's not in there, that's definitely going to decrease the value of the book. So, very happy to get this. And George Perez did the inside art. Just amazing. George Perez, one of the best to do multiple people on the cover like it's just amazing with how he does it he always does an amazing job so happy to find that for a dollar all right then i was real happy to find uh these for a dollar hold on let me get it all in order man okay so i found in candy x-force number one now the whole run was there of this uh this volume right here and there are some key books in that volume, but I have so many multiple copies. I was like, oh, I don't want them. I'll just get what, you know, I get issue number one, which always is great to have issue number one. Then I'll get the final issue, of course, which is issue number 35, final issue. Because, you know, final issues, low print run. As you guys know, low print run. So hard to, harder to find. Then they had issue number 18, but this is the poly bag one that hasn't been opened yet. So happy to get that. An unopened poly bag one. And then the one I was really happy to get was the unopened poly bag number 18 variant edition. And so very happy about that. Let me show you what I'm talking about by poly bag if you don't know what I'm talking about, just in case you're a new newbie to collecting this is the poly bag as you can see hasn't been opened so it's still in there unopened so definitely definitely happy to get the very i don't even know what this cover looks like to be honest with you i need to go on ebay and find out what it looks like and i don't know if it goes for anything but i'm just happy to get it because i don't have it so you know it's always great
to get a, a book that you don't have. All right, and then of course I got Firebrand number one from DC Comics, which I've never heard of this character from DC, but um, it might be his first appearance, I don't know, but issue number one of a comic I don't have, so why not, why not? All right, then this book right here I've had before multiple times for a dollar also, but every time I see it, I'm gonna pick it up because it's a Jusco uh, uh, cover. And the original price was $3.95 when it came out. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm pick it up every time. It's a great cover. Look at that cover. It's, it's great. So, guys say, now this book doesn't go for a lot of money, but it's just a great cover. I'm going to get it every time. It's a real thick book, too, by the way. See how thick it is, y'all? So, near mint, why not? A dollar. Got to get it. Then I got Wildcats number two. Gonna keep picking this book up every time. His first appearance of Wetworks. Wetworks is an awesome team. That if you never read Wetworks, you you should read Wetworks. Read the first couple of issues, you'll be hooked. Trust and believe. So very happy about that. Then this book, I barely run into this book, so I'm happy to get it. This is X Man number one, first appearance of X Man, but this is the second print, and it's called the Extra Edition. So the second print, I don't see it too often. And um, if you, if the back of the book shows, basically the back of the book is the what the first print cover looks like. You see, that's the first print cover for the first print. It's in red. And as you can see, the second print is less red. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's so definitely, definitely happy to get this second printing which I don't see too often, so, and this is his first appearance, so definitely, I feel this second printing once, one day, if X-Men ever be, you know, introduced into the MCU, I think this book is gonna skyrocket higher than the first printing, because of the fact that it's harder to find the second printing, uh, I don't see it too often, and I definitely don't see it in, in great condition, most of the time it's beat up. All right, then I got Teen Titans issue number one. I forgot what I'm mean at 100. Forgot what volume this is, but I got it because it's the final issue of this of this run right here. So final issue, low print run. I'm gonna keep saying it. So yeah, I had to get it. Had to get it. Then I was happy to get this Jim Lee and Candy X Men 274 for a dollar in near mint condition. I already have this book. But every time I can see a Jim Lee X-Men and Candy X-Men book for a dollar, I'm going to get it every time. Especially during this time, during this run. This run was awesome. It was when Jim Lee was killing it with the X-Men. All right, then I got pit number one. <laughs> I probably got like 30 copies of this. It's crazy. It's Pitt's first appearance, but I'm going to keep picking it up. I wish it was the newsstand, but every time I see it in a near me copy, I'm going to get it. Because, like I said before, if they ever do anything with Pitt, yeah, it'll be great. Now, this book right here, I was surprised to find it there because I had told them last year. Because I had found a copy of this downstairs, but it was in not that great of shape. But I told the guy, I said, you know, this is the key, right? And he, he didn't know what it was. And I told him, it's the first Jim Lee art in Marvel. So, it's a key book. It does fetch a little bit of money. So, but... The same guy was there today, and he, <laughs> they put this in the dollar bin, and this is a near mint copy right here. This is, so I'm like, okay, well, I guess he might have forgot, I don't know, or he just don't care. So, yeah, I got me another one of these, first Jim Lee art in Marvel. It might be, his, I think it's first Jim art, period, I think, but I'm not sure, but definitely a book that does fetch a premium, so very happy to get another one of those. And what's great is that, um, you know, Jim Lee's art at, at the beginning, you could tell that it wasn't, it was okay. You know what I'm saying? Because if you compare it to this book, which is Jim Lee later, Wildcats, look at the, look at the art styles. Just so, so much better right here. So very happy about that, that his progression got better. But I'm happy to get this Wildcats number seven because it's a new stand. And image newsstands are like ratios are like one in twenty five compared to the direct. So definitely, definitely they fetch a premium. And 
to get them in near main condition is really, really hard because them spinner racks where they used to put all the newsstands and all newsstand copies were not taken care of at all wherever they were displayed and sold at. So definitely hard to find these in near main condition. Very happy about that. This is a more modern, this is a more recent book. Uh, this came out maybe last year at the beginning of the year, if I remember correctly. And I was talking about this character and I was, is a new character and I, I was liking this character. So I'm happy to get another copy of this for a dollar. It's the Techno Comics 986. And I'm trying to remember it, this, I think this is the first full appearance of Karma or it's his cameo. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I think it is the first full. But I'm just happy to get another copy. I got multiple copies of this and of, I have the first and full and the cameo. I have both multiple copies of that. All right, then I got this also is a recent book, which I was surprised it was down there. Near Mint Condition Perfect, and I'm gonna pick this up every time. And when this came out, I actually got three copies of it because I know um, it's it's a new character. Uh, so it's Miss Marvel number thirty seven. It's the first appearance of, I think, her niece as a baby, and the the baby has powers. So, um, I I think, if I remember correctly, I think in the next issue it showed it. Showed it. Um, but I'm not sure if it's her niece. I think it's her niece. I'm not 100% sure. I just know that the baby has powers. So, definitely, definitely a key book to get for right now for cheap. Why not? Now, I have to say... <laughs> If you know anything about me, I love the ladies. I love them, love them, love them. Um, can't get enough of women. Love them. So, uh, and Greg Horn is one of my favorite characters. And when he does these women, he does them so great. I love the way he does women. So, it's Electro number 17, Greg Horn. Now, I picked this, this book up also um, a couple of months ago at the used bookstore for a dollar so to get another c copy of it is great I mean Greg Horn kills it kills it now this one right here I have to say because I like this one even better so it's now issue number eight Greg Horn cover of Electra really a digging in I like how he put his name on the tape you see it says Greg Horn right there in the duct tape <laughs> that's a great place to put his name but I, I, I'm loving this, loving it, loving it. Greg Horn did an amazing Electra run, especially the covers where Electra is in her white costume or her black costume. Whew, I loved it. I loved it. So, yeah, Greg Horn, one of my favorite. Um, he was at the Baltimore Comic Con last year. Got him to sign a couple of books for me, and I'm going to definitely take these Electras with me and get him to sign these. So, very happy about that. All right, now, I have to say, because I just showed this in my last haul video that I got this for a dollar, and to get another one is great. So, it's Young Blood number three, first appearance of Supreme, and as I said in that video, a CGC 9.8 copy on eBay just recently sold for over $120, which I didn't even know this book goes for that much. So, psh, I've been... I'm I'm keep trying to get as many copies as I can of this book, and hopefully I can get the newsstand copy eventually, uh, cause that one probably go for even more. So first appearance of Supreme, it's hot. I don't know what's going on. Maybe somebody knows something about a movie or something. Maybe I don't know, but I'm gonna keep picking that up. Now this one I also have to say because it's another image newsstand that's hard to find, and I'm happy to get get this. So it's Gen 13, number 7, Newsstand. Newsstand, yes. And just happy to get another newsstand. They get the premiums on them are sick. And then, of course, there was another book in the back of this, and it's called Blood Pool, and it's issue number one, and it came with a little trading card and stuff. So issue number one of Blood Pool. Uh, now, I do have issue three and four. I don't have issue two. So I definitely uh, am happy to get issue number one because it's just issue one. So eh, why not? All right. Now this book right here just was a cover grab. It's not worth nothing. 
But it's just a great, great cover. Uh, it's Detective Comics number 32 from the New 52. And that cover right there, Poison Ivy as a calendar, is just great. Oh, man. I, I'm digging this cover of Poison Ivy. Oh, man. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah. I, if I see more copies of this, I'm going to pick, pick up more because I'm really digging it. Like, if you have it in your hand, you'll really appreciate it even more. So, very happy about that one. Now, this is a book that I haven't got one of these in a minute, a 1979's direct copy in a minute. Um, at one point, I was on the hunt for them hard, but I haven't been seeing too many of them lately. And when I do see them, they be beat up. So I'm just like, uh, so I haven't been picking them up. But luckily, there's this book right here is a near me condition, a 1979 direct. And I don't have this book at all. So it's Conan the Barbarian 103. 1979 direct and as I've said in plenty of my videos in 1979 the direct market just started so it was only 6% of the market so 94% was the newsstand market so to find these direct 1979 is not as many out there compared to the newsstand now you can tell the direct by the line going across the barcode and the little diamond thing right there with the black shaded around it so that's how you could tell, 1979, direct market, very low, low direct issues. So definitely be on the lookout for these books and happy to get this for a dollar. That's a Bronze Age. Any Bronze Age near mint for a dollar is just great anyway. Now I got this Max number one only because it's his first volume one. Number one of his first volume of his own series. So... Had to get it, even though I have multiple copies of it. But every time I see a near man copy, I'm going to just grab it. Why not? Wish it was the newsstand, but... Eh. All right, I got this amazing Spider-Man Chaos and Calvary number four. And I already have this book, but I got it because of the first appearance of this person right here. And his name is Turb Turbine. So, got it just for this character. This character hasn't... They haven't done nothing with this character, but... I'm going to just get it because, you know, every now and then these offshoot characters that no one's thinking about, all of a sudden they just bring them into some and then all of a sudden the book shoots up. Prime example, um, the Elementals that's gonna about to be in the Spider-Man Far From Home. Like, they were not even being thought about at all and now they're about to be in a movie. Like, <laughs> so their first appearance has shot up like in Supernatural Thrillers number 13 or 12, I forgot. But I do have that issue also in near mint condition. And I picked that up for cheap. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so was happy to get that a long time ago. And, you know, like I said, just get these offshoot characters just in case. You never know. They might do something with them. All right. Now, this book right here, very happy to find this book. I only knew this book was worth something because of the fact that in my other haul videos where I did pick up some of these Batman Adventure books, I picked up a couple of DC Universe variants and some other keys in the Batman Adventures uh, books. And once I picked those up, I decided to do my own research to find out every book in that run that's worth something. So just so happens by me doing that, you know, I knew that this book, as soon as I saw the cover, I was like, I know what that is. You know what I'm saying? So knew right away. Then he had to look it up. So it's Batman Adventures number 36, and it's a newsstand from 1995, if I remember correctly. Yep, so uh, the importance of this book is that it is the last issue of the run. So low print run, this book does go for some good money, and what I really like about the book is that it shows other images in the background, you see them? And the best image of all is this one right here, if you can see it. Uh, that one right there. You should know what that is right there, you guys. You know what that is right there? <laughs> yeah, y'all know. But anyways, uh, yeah, so just happy. If you see this book, definitely get it. Last issue, low print run. So very important. All right, now, the same thing with this. I'm going to talk about this again. Um, Now, I have picked up some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers variants from this used bookstore. And I got them for a dollar each. All and they're all variants. And when I picked them up and I did my research on them, I w I did the same thing. Once I found out about those books, I was like, you know what? Even though I don't collect Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, 
and I don't read them at all. Like, let me do my own research and find out what books are key. So that way, if I ever see them, I'll know right away what it is once I see the cover. So I took it upon myself and that's the same thing. So that's what happened with this book. As soon as I pulled it up, I was I looked at it, I was like, hold up. This looks familiar. And I was like, I know this is worth something. So I went on eBay real quick to look and yeah, I, I was like, yep, I knew it, I knew it. And I'm glad I did my research prior. So it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number zero and it's the yellow helmet one, the variant. So um, this book normally goes for $15 and up. So to get it for a dollar near mint perfect copy is great. And I would not have, I literally, if I had not did my own research, during that time of picking up those other ones, I would have missed out on this because I would have just skipped it. I would just been like, uh, and kept going. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to every now and then, even though you might not read or collect a certain thing, just do research on that series to find out which ones are the ones that's worth money and which ones are key. So that way, when you're digging through them 25 cents, 50 cents, dollar, whatever boxes, and you see it, you'll know. You know what I'm saying? So very important to do research, you know what I'm saying? So, um, all right, then I got this one right here, Ultimate Spider-Man 128, and it's not worth nothing. I only got it because of the cover. So it's it's uh, Ultimate Venom is on the front cover, and he looks crazy. He doesn't look like the regular Venom because, of course, he's the Ultimate Venom from the Ultimate Universe. So, But I like the cover. Now, I will tell you this. His first appearance is issue 30-something, of Ultimate Spider-Man and it does go for money so if you see his first appearance pick that one up definitely and he is on the front cover of that one also but just the face part you know what I'm saying so be on the lookout for that but like I said I just got this for the cover I just a dollar why not near me had to get it had to get it now I have to definitely say woo! I'm so happy to get this book man I've never seen this book as far now DC Universe variants if you know anything about them, they they profess a premium. They're, they're, they're hard to find. They're not easy to find, especially in near mint, perfect condition. They're not that easy to find. Um, so when you do find one and it's one that you've never seen ever, you have to say, because I think it's one of the more rare ones. So this is called the Final Night Number 4. And there goes the DC Universe logo on there. And I have never seen this ever, like ever. So I was just like, okay. And I've seen most most of the DC Universe variants, but not this one. I didn't even know they made it for this book right here. So I'm very happy to find it. I don't know how rare it is, but I think it is kind of rare. Because like I said, I have never seen it. Now, you guys might have seen it. Let me know in the comment section. If any of y'all have this one, let me know. But um I'm very happy. Like, when I see one that I've never seen before, I'm very, very happy. All right. And then I got another one of these. I got this about a couple of months ago at the used bookstore for a dollar. So it's Nightwing number 153. And I got it because it's the fine. No issue. So very happy about that. Low print run. Once again, final issue. Got to get it. Got to get it for a dollar. Now, this one, I don't even know if it's worth anything, but I, I, I'm digging this cover. And I, it's a variant edition. Uh, it's a future fight variant edition, but it's Monsters Unleashed number five. And it's uh, the cover is done by G, no, by Lee Hung. Lee Hung, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I like this this cover. I just like it. There's something about it that I like. I don't know. But Monsters Unleashed. I don't know if this is a key book. I'm trying to remember what issue number five. Is, is there a key of first appearance? I don't think so. But just for a dollar, I couldn't leave it there, you guys. Now, this book ain't worth nothing, but I had to get it because I'm trying to complete the full run of this. It's Nightwatch number three. And Nightwatch had got hot for a minute there. His first appearance was hot for a minute, but it kind of cooled off a little bit. But I just want to get his full run of his his series that he had um and this is issue number eight and a lot of people say he's a spawn ripoff which he does look a little like spawn i have to say that but like i said i just want to get all the issues i want to get all of them complete the run then i got shadow hawk number three and it is newsstand another image newsstand yes 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 so 
very hard to find these image newsstands in, in near mint condition. It's just hard. And I love when uh, comic book shops put them out there and don't realize what they have. So it's great that I'm able to pick it up. And then I picked up another Cyber Force number one. And this is just a regular, no, no newsstand, which I wish. I'm going to keep picking up Cyber Force number one because it's the first appearance of all these characters on the front cover. So multiple first appearances. Why not? And then I got Union number one which is the first appearance of Union. And once again, this is another book that I just had to pick up because I picked up a recent copy of it. And when I looked at it and read through it, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to keep picking up issue number one because it's first appearance. They might do something with them. And that, you guys, is my haul. You guys, so I'm very happy to get, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of newsstands. I'm happy to get that DC logo variant. I'm happy to get them Greg Horn covers. I'm just happy, period. And it, it's just great, you guys. So definitely, definitely, you guys, if you get a chance, I just want to put this back up because I'm really loving this Poison Ivy cover. Like, look at it. Woo! I got I to gotta give it the calendar. February. What? February is the month of love, right, you guys? So, yeah, they even got it circled on that day, too, I think, the 14th. Yeah. The day of love. So... Loving, loving, loving this, this book right here. So I have to say, everyone, thank you for joining me for another haul video. Sorry I didn't, couldn't show you a lot of new releases, but just haven't been impressed lately. Eh, it's just not, eh. I'd rather get these awesome back issues, you know what I'm saying, that I know are worth something and are keys, you know what I'm saying? So definitely rather do that. Um, just switching up my, you know, my, my collecting. Uh, and that's it. So if you're having a bad day, remember, read you a comic and it'll make your day better. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, do yourself a favor. Hit the Galactus head over here and make sure you hit the bell. So that way you'll get notified every time I put up a video. Now I try to put up at least one video a week, but lately I've been doing two videos a week. So I'm trying, I'm going to try to get better to the point where maybe three videos a week, hopefully. So definitely, definitely just hit that bell, you guys. Don't miss out on some great books that you might not know about and some information you might not know about. Uh, and also hit up these two old videos right here for some goodness. Uh, I'm telling you, all my old videos, you can learn some. You'll see some you might not have never seen before. So check out all my old videos. Go back to the beginning if you have to. And see how I progressed in my videos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so thank you everyone. Hope to see y'all again. And uh, give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, like I said in my last video. If you give me 200 uh, thumbs. If I get 200 likes. I would do a live video finally. Because I've never done a live video. And I'll be able to chat it up with you guys. And really really kick it with you guys. So uh, definitely give, give me 200 likes. And I, I, I'll be ready. It'll show me that you guys actually want it. You know what I'm saying? So if I don't get 200 likes, then that means you don't want me to go live. So I won't go live. So, uh, you know, the thumbs will let me know. And hopefully you guys will, you know, let me know. So until next time, you guys, peace.